and here comes one of those pesky powered cars. I'll tell you, these this things are going to be fast. It. What a run it's been for Brad Keselowski up into 2010. You look at the numbers for this season compared to 16 starts in 2008-2009. He's already got three wins this season. Look at the top five finishes compared and just the steady progression of his career over these three years. And this is a new team when he came there. They didn't really have this team established uh, as far as the second Nationwide Series team. And that's pretty impressive really what he's done over there. So green flag here and uh, remember the second lap will be the money lap and Doc he was a pretty confident sounding guy when you talk to him. Absolutely Alan you know it has to do with having a great team but also having a lot of confidence with your driver and as Paul Wolf watches his driver race before he went out in the car for interviewed Brad he said he looked turned to me and said I will be on the pole here today. I feel that good about this car our Penske engines and the setup from Paul. This will be my first pole at Daytona. Let's we'll see if he can back it up. Yeah Doc I wonder what all that stuff was about. Kevin Harvick being the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at this run. This is a this is definitely a pole run in the making. And that the, this is his first lap compared to Allgaier's current pole lap. Yeah, he's going to be less than a half a second, and we've seen these cars pick up uh, five to six, sometimes seven tenths of a second on that second lap. So yeah, this is going to be the first be. Uh, first lap we've seen in the 49. That's 49.82. Uh, the next fastest was his teammate at a 50.08. So wow. you're going to see a pole lap right here. Yeah, and you've been saying it's about a 49.30, and that's uh, right on the pace that he's on right here. We heard Allgaier saying that he he wouldn't be surprised to see the Penske, all three cars on the front row. Well, there's not enough room on the front row for all three <laughs> of them, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the first three spots. He must have been thinking about Indy. Yeah, it must have been. Well, you know, he does drive for Penske. Yeah. Watching the tracker, he's got a tenth and growing. Yeah, he'll have at least two tenths to spare coming off four. Yeah, something I like to see is when a car is picking up through the corner, man, that means that that car is running free through there. The driver isn't having to do anything crazy to put the car there. Yeah, what a lap here. Brad Keselowski said he wanted his first Daytona pole in the first race for the new generation nationwide car. He has gone to the top of the stack. Good job, everybody. Didn't disappoint. Wow. So 17. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a great car. Paul Wolf, uh, everybody on this team, uh, even the backup car was good enough to be on the front row. So uh, just an awesome team. It's really come together great and a uh, solid run. And uh, I can't think of any better place to start than on the front row. You know, we just had a strong car. You know, it, uh, it feels good to have cars these good. I know how Kyle and all them uh, Gibbs drivers feel when they drive these cars because that's how I got. I got one of the best cars in the series and uh, feel like we're a real threat.